How's it going, party people? It's your boy, Kmon. Now, like I said before, I have a ton of duels to show you. So let's get right into it. So this is duel number two I had with Tenpai with the first build. So this build is not my final build that I did post the other day. Keep that in mind. I recorded all of these duels, but I just didn't upload them because I would have been very, very, very busy. It's easier for me to actually uh, upload a deck profile over a duel because, you know, duels take like 40 plus minutes. So, yeah, this is against Memento. And this, this is the first time I've ever fought this deck ever. So, he's, he's, I don't know any of the names like that. But, yeah. So, he's going to summon out the, the little uh, demon. Little demon, whatever it's called. This is effect here. Dump the um, little Karibo one. And that one's going to dump one more. I think that one dumps. Yeah, it dumps the spell card, which now I know that spell card is the one card you do want, want, want to try to stop. So he's going to go effects. And he's going to put that back to the field and then effect grab the um, spell card right there. So here, I believe I go. No, I don't. Okay. Do I go ghost spell or? No, I don't. Okay. Now he goes field spell, which you guys can't see, but the, but the field spell is there. Oh my god, ugh. My tongue has been hurting, man, so much. Holy. So now I'm asking him what the like field spell does. He's, he's explaining it to me. I think the deck is so sick. Uh, it's very, very gimmicky, sure, but I think it's like a sick deck overall, so... And again, this is my first time ever dueling against it, so I was like, I don't know what's going on right now. I don't know what to hit, what to look out for, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, you know. So go over his hand is crazy too. Oh my gosh. We're gonna go fusion, and you can actually go spell that fusion because I believe it brings him back from graveyard fuses. It does something to where you can go spell it. So that is one of the key cards that you do want to actually hit. So I go Magna Mutt, targeting Graveyard to actually banish. And this is when I was actually playing Magna Mutt, believe it or not. So he's going to fuse those two. And that big shiny one, that is his boss monster. And he's going to summon out the fusion here. The fusion is the card you also want to hit. So if I were to hit this card here... We'll be good to go, but again, this is uh, like my like, very first build that I did post, so yeah, uh, I didn't really have, you know, I didn't really have anything to really, um, you know, hit stuff with. Like, now, as you guys saw the uh, latest build I did post with like all the hand traps, I believe, especially after today, I got some really good footage today, the hand trap build is the most impactful build that you can do for Tenpai until we get the new stuff, and I'm going to stand by what I said the green one should be played at one, bro. Holy. I felt so free playing today. And I, I, I just didn't hard draw him. And I was so happy. I was like, that's what I'm talking about, baby. And then the one time I did actually hard draw him, he came in clutch. So, so good, bro. So, so good. It can get kind of awkward at times, sure. But like, man, just I'd like to just not open up green one, bro. Or to open up every hand trap slash red or white mainly white one because white gets you the most advantage but it is what it is you know what i mean so now he's gonna dump stuff here dump and then destroy mind you, i got like nothing for this so he's gonna oh no he's thinking on the magna mutt search and he is going to ghost mourner that and i'm like well that sucks i get no search now so he's gonna go get his skull guy here Which that can just, I think that one can summon itself if it has like, what, three or more with different names in the graveyard, I, th I think, I believe. Something like that. Also, someone did fix our, my, my camera for me. Appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you. So he, he's going to go get, get the horse, which that horse is broken. A horse is another one you do want to try to Ash Blossom because, um... That horse can dump like like three or five or whatever from his deck to graveyard. So 
If you can imperm or ash that horse, you can. There are, there are like a lot of cards that you do want to try to hit versus this deck. So, yeah. Man, I like watching back these these duels that, I, that I'm having now because it's like, man, I see so many like errors that I've had with like the, the like older builds. And now I'm very happy with this new build that I am running right now. Though I did so well today, bro. I fought against uh, Fire, Snake Eye, no, yes, uh, Snake Eye, Dragon Link, and U Bell. Oh my God, it was ridiculous. I went through the gauntlet, but it all worked out, bro. It was such such good matches, bro. And I'm happy I got them all on footage too. You guys are gonna see those like later, later, later on. Not later, later on, but like later on, because like in total of ten pie duels, I have like eight ten pie duels in total. But yeah, so he's going to use the horse and he's going to send those things. And I don't have any other hand traps because I don't even remember. Like, my first build, I don't believe, played that many hand traps. I don't believe. It might have. No, no, it didn't because I was rocking the, like, Fenrir's and also with this deck. And, like, I was like, oh, that's a good card. You know what I mean? But as you can see, if, if you're rocking Magnamut plus Fenrir, both of those conflict with each other. Because, obviously, if you use Magnamut to interrupt and send it to the field... Fenrir cannot be summoned, so I'd rather that be another hand trap. Again, if I was playing the current build that, that I have now, I possibly could have just won here. Mind, I mean, to be fair, like, I don't know what's going on right now for Memento. I have never fought this deck before, ever. I don't know what it does, but yeah, I, I think my my current build of Tempo, which is like right behind me, my current build is bonkers bro so so good which if you guys do want to see it i did post it after uh before this this video came out so check, check that out if you want to i've been posting so much tin pie content i feel like i'm doing sword soul stuff again bro y'all y'all remember when i was posting so many like sword soul video uh updated version of this dual 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 oh my gosh good times good times i feel like i'm gonna be doing that with tin pie also because like this deck is awesome i'm having like, a good time playing this deck it's so crazy so now he's just uh, going over his stuff here. Uh, also, this is my homie here. He would he would never cheat or anything. So like everything he tells me, I'm just like, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Plus, I do, I think I do actually end up picking picking up some cards to actually read them. So yeah, <laughs> but if there are any Memento players out there and you want to try to play this deck, this is pretty. This is a pretty good example of what this deck can do. Plus, it's super good because like. Uh, a lot of people will not know how to fight this deck properly. So it's like, yo, what do I hit? What do I do? You know what I mean? Like, it's just one of those, those things. So he's going to go get that, that trap card. I'm just like, this trap card is broken. What the heck? <sighs> Which that trap card in combination of the boss monster that he does have in the, in the graveyard that is how the entire gimmick does work believe it or not so you know if that's more your style of decks big helmet deck go for it and like i'm one to talk about helmet i'm playing tenpai i think tenpai is such a sick deck bro it's so cool bro but uh i will not be surprised if or when it does get hit in the near future because for me the difference between Tempai and Sword Soul, Sword Soul coming out of the gate was a very, very, very powerful deck and strategy. But at the end of the day, Sword Soul was a very fair deck. You can say whatever you want about Sword Soul, but it was a fair deck, bro. It was so fair. It was so fair. You know what I mean? So he's going to go to SP, banish. And I'm just like... Damn, bro, that a SP on the field? Sheesh. What do I do? <laughs> Mind you, I think I have a Fenrir in my hand. I think I do. So that could have been a hand trap, and that could have just, you know, hand trapped you, and then you can't do anything, and then we're going to go from there. So. So this is going to summon out um, the big guy by shuffling like five from, from the graveyard. back into his deck i'm just like what it's broken so shuffling back so i'm i'm, I'm, ha I'm having i'm having him read the like card to me because i'm just like 
that that that's a shiny card. What does that card do? You know what I mean? So I'm like four, five. So I thought he didn't have five, but I didn't see the uh, fusion that was behind his hand there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's shuffling back the fusion, which I think they, if they put that card at one, that card is busted. The fact that he opened up with the field spell too was crazy. So I'm like, all right, let me read the trap card. So I'm like, okay, I get the um, combination of the trap card and the like monster of like what you want to do or what you want to kind of look out for, if that makes sense. So shuffle those back. Set the field spell, and he has an ash in his hand. The fact that he did Ghost Mourner, my freaking, um, my freaking bestial, is crazy, bro. So crazy. So with that, he's gonna just set that trap card, and then pass turn. His field's pretty good, honestly. Like SP field spell, big guy, and okay, the field spell sets the okay the fusion again. So. I'm like, oh, you're you're just bonkers. So I'm like, okay, cool. My turn, draw. Stand by main. So now I'm gonna go blaster, and then I do blaster uh, his trap card. He's just like. Wow, Blaster. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, bro, Blaster. Blaster is OD, bro. I low-key miss playing Blaster. I'm not going to lie. I might try to incorporate a build with Blaster in there because, like, I think Blaster is such a good, like, boom, board, like, a board breaker. You know what I mean? I think I'm going to try to do that. I think I'm going to take out Rivalry and then main deck a, like, one Blaster. I think I might try that just, just for funsies, bro. You know what I mean? Cause uh, I was using uh, Rivalry t uh, today, and like I only use it versus the U Bell deck because you know I, I drew it. I'm just like, then this does nothing versus this deck. You know what I mean? So here we yeah. So I do something up Fenrir. So the fin if the Fenrir was another hand trap, we would have been golden, golden. You hear me? So he's gonna go effect to actually take, which again. Wouldn't have mattered if I did have the freaking. Mm -mm -mm. The freaking hand trap. So he's going to go SP target target to banish. He's going to go Fenrir, banish that face down. I'm like, damn it, bro. I think I think I just scoop here. I'm just like, well, that's all I had. Yep, I scooped. Yeah, so like. That was the first time I saw, like, a real issue with Fenrir. Because, again, like, Fenrir is cool and all, but the fact that he was able to, to just take Fenrir from me and do what he want is crazy. So we are going to go to game number two. And then I believe I make him go first. I think I do. Yeah. I think. Do I make him go first or do I go first? I'm not too sure. Mind you, first build, first build. I'm pretty sure I make him go first here. So he's gonna go activate to summon. And then that, that is a card that does Foolish Barrel like five or six cards or whatever. That, that card is pretty much Snake Ring because he can send uh, mental monsters up to up to or lower to than its level. And it's level 6, so he could send a lot of the good ones. This deck is kind of cool, bro. It's kind of, kind of cool, bro. I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. So he's reading it. I'm like, that's fine. So he destroys himself, and then he does send the rest. So he does send. Oh, one. 
level three and then a level two i believe yep level one three and two so that does make six obviously so now we're just shuffling up real quick i'm just like god damn bro So now I'm going to go Ghost Spell here, because he is going to go for the Karibo effect here, which it's not fully my fault that I Ghost Spelled there, because I'm like, oh, that's a good card, right? Uh, I do, I now that I know, I'm definitely going to hit the freaking uh, Fusion card every single time now with Ghost Spell, because it, it, I think, I believe the Fusion card moves them. So now that's where he goes Talents, and he's like, show me your hand. I'm like, sure. He's going to get rid of the Ash here, most likely. And I'm just like, of course. Like, I opened up with two hand traps, and I, and I felt good. I felt good there. You know, I know what you're thinking, like, oh, why didn't you Ash that card right there? The um, the other monster that, like, foolish barrels everything? I didn't care about him foolishing them, because I'm just like, yo, if I can stop him from getting that fusion card, then that foolish barrel means nothing. But I guess in hindsight... Like, I should have just ashed that, that card instead because then he got a lot of advantage. But either way, it did not really matter because he did have the talents and he did have the uh, one for one. So, like, he would have gotten all of that in there and to his hand regardless. It, it, it truly, truly did not matter. No biggie, though. No biggie, no biggie, no biggie. Gonna go one for one, pitch for cost, and I'm like, I don't have the ash, obviously. Is he gonna summon out the big headed alien one? Now I'm just thinking of what he wants to do here. Oops. Sorry about that. <laughs> I think he wants to do here, because, like, man... If I could just go back in time and tell myself, play this build now, I'm telling you. You know what I mean? But I like playing games like this because like, it's a lot of like trial and error. You know what I mean? Like a lot of decks were like, that's why I love Sword Soul. Cause like, I felt like I could definitely experiment as much as I wanted to with that deck. You know what I mean? And it's like, with this deck, it's the same thing. You can experiment all you want. And it's like, no one can truly tell you, hey, you're wrong because the deck is still so new no one knows the like best build we have an idea which is the hand trap build but for me personally i love the hand traps and i also love the board breakers they are tremendously good bro so 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 good if you want to mention around though you definitely can but you know it is what it is Now he's going to go Pot of Prosperity here. And again, the Board Breaker, or sorry, the Hand Trap build I would have had, you would have to go through at least three Hand Traps just to play. Then if you can do all that, go off, bro. And then on my turn, I could try to go for a Board Breaker, break your board, and then you're good to go from there. Like, that's the whole, like, that's the whole thing for it of what I like, you know? Three, four, five, six. I think I told him to yell, bro, just get, just get the damn D barrier. So 
Is he thinking what he wants to try to get here, which it's not like a hard concept here, in my opinion. Like, they're going first, set up for the debate. Oh, someone was trying to ask him a question. I'm just like, yeah, ask him later. So, yeah, we're going to skip ahead a little bit. So he does actually get the monster here instead because he's like, I'll get more advantage with this stuff. So I'm reading what the card does, and it just like destroys itself and then summons from the deck. So you can't actually this card, this deck has like a lot of key moments to actually hand trap. You know what I mean? So I think the deck is so sick. And the fact that it has that little monster chick who can like take uh, your monsters is crazy. I'm gonna go get her. Yeah, that's her right there. That's her. That's the freaking annoying card, bro. Now I'm just like, yeesh, man. Not much I can really do here. Like, again, this is why the hand trap build is so much more important than the, like, non-hand trap build, if that makes sense, you know? Now he's going to go for the fusion here. And that's that's another card you do want to try to hit here. Destroy. Cuz um the more you fill up your graveyard for this deck, the better it is for you. You know what I mean? So, like, that is the, like, main goal that he is trying to do for this deck, if that makes sense. Yeah, he's just fusing right now. Yeah, he's gonna end up on the the same board essentially. And I mean, like, I can't. Man. Also, think about getting a, a new camera too. Believe it or not, like <laughs> this is just a more better quality one because I feel like the bigger I get, which I, I love all the support. But I definitely want to try to upgrade my my quality. Like my my two webcams are fine, and my and my mic is really good. But I feel like the camera that I do use uh, to record these duels, I feel like it can and it should actually be better. I want to try to get like a 4K camera. You know what I mean? <laughs> like. Flows back of the deck, summon out big guy here. Oh, another world. 
He's going to set. And then he is going to pass here. And again, this field's pretty good, bro. Now I go draw. I'm like, draw, stand by main. So again, I'm just reading what the card does again, just to make sure. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm thinking real hard here because I have a Fenrir field spell. So I have four cards in hand here. No. So I'm going to go field spell. Gonna go effect here. Add the hand and then I'm gonna pitch the Fenrir because he does have the monster taker that is in his hand. So I'm like, all right, because if I summoned Fenrir, I would have lost. So yeah. Yeah, I do pitch the Fenrir. And then I go blaster, <laughs> target to pop. <laughs> he just like, go oh, blaster again? I'm like, I drew it. That's such a cool card, bro, blaster. I'm, I'm gonna put him back in. I feel like he wasn't like bad to have in, in, in the main deck. No one's saying Padre, Padre effect to search. I was thinking if he wants to go to SP here. Which, in reality, it doesn't matter if he does, because I believe I still have game here, bro. Unless he has an Ash Blossom. If he has an Ash Blossom, he is just the greatest player in the flipping world. So he's trying to calculate, like, is banishing the field spell right here worth it? I, I, I was like, oh, SP? Yeah, banish field spell. I was like, okay, cool. Back to Padre to search. Banish, banish, I'm like, sure. Get Cayman, enter battle. Activate. Summon out, boop. And yeah, we take that game. So I'm just like, yeah, bro. Like, it was, <laughs> that was that was that for that, bro. Now we're going to go to game number three here. He's going to go first here. So summon out. Uh, I, again, I do not know their name, so... I do apologize for not saying them correctly. Oof. I got my hair done, man. And yo, my, my, uh, not my scalp, but yeah, my scalp hurts a little bit. I'm not tender headed, but it's like, imagine just like getting your hair pulled for like eight hours straight. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> sheesh, man. I got alien like this, right? Woo, look at me go. <laughs> oh, man. So he's, he's going to go to full combo here. And of course, I don't draw a singular hand trap. And... I do, in fact, have some bad news for you guys. I'm going to have them keep going. But, unfortunately, 
my camera does die here. It does die. So we're not going, going to be able to see the full duel, but I do try to imperma his fusion here, which again, in reality, it, it does not matter. Like if we skip ahead a little bit, like he gets a trap card, all that stuff. And like SP, everything, it did not matter. But yeah, my camera did actually end up dying, but he did actually take the game to one. So GG's is what it is. But anyways, hope you guys did enjoy that duel. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. I got more duels coming up for you guys. So please stay tuned. It's going to go from old build to new build. But anyways, have an awesome one. Peace.